where did Cain get his wife? As if nobody has able, been able to uh, find an answer to this particularly difficult question since then. In fact, though, whether you believe in evolution or whether you believe in creation, you come up with exactly the same problem. The only difference is that evolution cannot properly identify the solution. Any evolutionary answer from that original question would lead, believe it or not, to devolution. It would not lead to evolution. But they will work around that and not let you know that that's the absolute truth of the matter. The biblical answer, however, is found in chapter 5, which we're going to look at next week. And Adam lived 130 years and begot a son in his own likeness after his image and named him Seth. After he begot Seth, the days of Adam were 800 years and he had sons and daughters. So all the days that Adam lived were 930 years and he died. We have no idea if Cain was the firstborn child of Adam or not. In fact, some scholars believe that the terminology at Cain's birth indicates that girls were born first. Here's what Albert Barnes says about the particular issue. If she, meaning Eve, had daughters before and saw them growing up to maturity, this would explain her expectation and at the same time give a new significance and emphasis to her exclamation, I have gained a man, heretofore only women, from Yahweh. So girls could have been born first. No problem there. And we have no idea at all if girls were born between Cain and between Abel. One thing we are sure of, though, is that Adam had sons and daughters, besides the three of them, Cain, Abel, and Seth. All right? In 930 years, he could have had a bunch. If Eve had twins or triplets or quadruplets, they could have had a heap of them. I mean, poor Eve in this context. And each of these children could have had their own children during those 930 years of Adam. They could potentially then have led to a, an immense multitude of people on the earth in that first generation from the time that Adam was created to the time that Adam died. There is no restriction levied on marrying brothers and sisters or uncles and aunts or cousins or anything else in the Bible until the law of Moses. And in fact, Abraham, who was only 430 years before the law, and he was 1950 years after creation, married his own half-sister. And no negative comment is made about that in the Bible. It's accepted as completely normal. The gene pool back then would have been much, much stronger. In fact, it would have been whoppingly strong compared to what it is today. And intermarrying like this would have been no problem at all. So the great unanswerable question of where did Cain get his wife isn't unanswerable at all. He got her from the daughters of Adam. So there you go, Spencer Tracy. Our text